OOP's QAnon parent is about to die. Original posted in R. QAnon casualties by you, Other Swordfish 9309 on the 2nd of January 2023. QAnon parent about to die. So conflicted right now. I have been no contact for 10 years because of my mother's crazy conspiracy, religious beliefs. I have now discovered she has late stage breast cancer. She won't get treatment and has been taking ivermectin, which is used to drench cattle, to cure her as she doesn't believe in Western medicine. I don't want to be dragged back into her chaos again, but it seems very cruel to not reach out, visit to offer support. I am angry that her wacky beliefs are once again making a very hard situation even harder frowning face. What would you do? equals 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 Update posted in R. QAnon Casualties by you, Other Swordfish 9309 on the 20th of January 2023. Update broke years long estrangement today with Q Parent. Hi everyone. Just wanted to give an update as everyone in this thread was so supportive when I posted recently. About going to see my QAnon parent who is dying of cancer. I did it. Today. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. From the minute I arrived she started on with mutterings about the crazy conspiracies and I kept just shutting them down. The saddest part was at lunch when she asked me to put my bag on the floor as we were being recorded on my phone disappointed. It was shocking to see how badly she has deteriorated. She started about the fake virus. The vaccines killing everyone including Lisa Marie Presley, and on and on it went. She even mentioned that Prince Charles is the Antichrist face with rolling eyes. Not sure if that's QAnon, or just another crazy conspiracy. But my visit gave her comfort and it's made me feel better. Even though it was brutal, as it justified to me why I've protected my kids from it. For her sake, and her troubled mind, I hope her suffering ends soon. Thanks again for all your support. I am not the op. The Prince Charles being the Antichrist is quite an old conspiracy theory. I remember it being around a good 20 years ago. At least. Something about he's descended from a certain bloodline and his name calculates to 666 according to some numerical doodad, apparently. Glad to see in the modern QAnon infested age that the classic conspiracies can still make a comeback. This makes me think of a blogger from a while ago called the Wellness Warrior. She had a highly curable form of cancer and refused to take any Western medicine. Instead, she did coffee enemas and natural treatments only, saying they were absolutely working. This form of cancer that had a 95% plus 5-year survival rate, but ended up killing her in exactly 5 years, which was the expected lifespan of a person who received no treatment at all. She lost her arm or all of her shoulder muscles prior to her death. It was really horrific and sad. ETA. I read about her a few years ago and didn't recall all the details correctly. Sorry. So she was offered the amputation of her arm and shoulder and decided on chemo instead. When the cancer returned and the amputation was necessary, she chose coffee up her butt. Shockingly, it didn't work. She tried a last-ditch attempt at real medicine when it was far too late and she died. Thanks for everyone who pointed out the errors I should have googled first to confirm the details. Pro tip from a psychiatric nurse. Every time you directly confront a delusion, you stimulate the person's brain to practice their defense of it. Even clinically, the only intervention we have for profound and life-limiting delusions is to prevent harm from them. As best we can, 
usually by limiting phone, social media access as a standard anyway in the inpatient environment. And two, hopefully, allow such beliefs to extinguish themselves as the person is steadily deprived of any value from thinking in such a way. What this means for you, never directly confront the delusion, only ever set boundaries for how it affects your life. For instance, never talk about whether or not vaccines are real. Just state that they are required to interact with you, or especially, your newborn. Refuse to discuss their reality, as this would reinforce the delusion. Just ask if they will comply with what is needed to interact with you and or your family. Do not engage with the arguments. Just state what you require of them and ask whether or not they will comply. Never inquire or engage further. Always keep yourself safe, but never stimulate the delusion more than you have to. I want to take this opportunity on a very sad post to beg you all to take advantage of whatever medical screening is available to you, and to make doing so an absolute priority. Mammograms and colonoscopies are not especially fun, but they can save your life. I celebrate 9 years breast cancer free this month. Sparkling heart. Good on her for being strong enough to face her mother and walk out the other side. Doesn't believe in western medicine doses self with western medicine made for animals. Pretty sure Charles isn't the antichrist. He's just a very boring and privileged old man. I confess I do find his arguments with his pen entertaining. I just wish I wasn't paying for him. Or his castles. Family. Security. Etc. His brother Andrew might be the Antichrist but I think he's too stupid for the job. On balance. I'm calling it for Piers Morgan. She even mentioned that Prince Charles is the Antichrist. Ah, yet another religious idiot refusing modern medicine because it's the devil, evil, against God. Meanwhile God is screaming, I put doctors on the planet to prevent this shit. I hope that the visit gave Oop some closure and they're able to heal properly now. Sadly my sister-in-law's younger sister ended up killing herself in a similar manner. She had always been a bit, out there. But nobody realized until too late that she'd been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and rather than control it with insulin she decided to treat herself with crystals as she said western medicine is a scam. She was found collapsed at home one day. Which was when it all came out. And by then her kidneys had failed and her legs were massively infected. She was sectioned in an attempt to treat her. But it was too late. She died during an operation to amputate her legs. It was such a waste. She was only in her 40s. Same with this poor lady's mom. She's been brainwashed into essentially letting herself die. I just don't get it. I know that logic is not a strength of QAnon believers. But taking ivermectin because she doesn't believe in western medicine is just. Yeah. Ivermectin is western medicine. It's even Western people medicine. Just not for COVID-19 or cancer. That sounds like a lot of untreated mental health issues. Poor family. Off topic a little. But why do people who reject Western medicine turn to Western veterinary care? It's still Western science. Why is it okay if it's meant for animals? But human medicine isn't okay? King Charles being the Antichrist is an old conspiracy that was spouted during the 90s. Conspiracy nuts thought he would become a major figure in world politics back then. Instead, Queen Elizabeth lived for another 25 plus years and sucked any life out of that conspiracy. My mother went down that road during COVID. I cut ties and routinely ask myself what I would do in that situation. Since my mother, a heavy smoker, resists all and any forms of basic medication, down to simple vitamin D pills. It's not a matter of, if, she'll get sick. 
just when I was leaning to the nope. You are rooting for worldwide authoritarian coups and I do not know who you are anymore. OOPs has more compassion than I do and their closing line just changed my mind. Sometimes, a passing is a blessing. Hope Oop finds peace in it. Taking Ivermectin to cure her as she doesn't believe in Western medicine. As if Ivermectin was from traditional medicine. My parents are also religious conspiracy theorists and I haven't seen them in person in a few years. Any discussions quickly turn into yelling. I'm waiting for them to die and I am dreading the day because I'm sure no one's going to want me to. The funerals. But if I don't show up my extended family will hate me. Goddamn Fox News and social media. That's King Antichrist to you. My dad is terrible with technology. So when all these conspiracies started to come out, I went to my dad's house and blocked everything. Facebook, certain website, and TV stations. If they wanted my dad down that rabbit hole they were goy g to have to work for it. He called my brother and I for help. And we just played dumb. I slept well at night knowing my dad was home watching the History Channel. I always feel horrible for people when I hear about this stuff because I was afraid for a minute. It'd be my reality. My dad has been into ancient aliens, cryptids, and conspiracies his whole life. Not in a crazy way. Just that they're fascinating, interesting we used to talk about it for hours. When Trump got elected and COVID started, I started to think he was really close to going down a similar path. Luckily, that didn't happen, and I think it's because he's too much of a critical thinker I think if he got to any of the really crazy stuff he immediately realized how stupid it is and backed out. Because there's a big difference to me between being interested in a History Channel show and, you know, thinking JFK Jr. and Pope Benedict are coming back from dead and vaccines have nanobots. I really think people like OOP's mom one just get way in over their heads before they even realize it and subconsciously don't want to back out to reality and have to face the humiliation they've been so manipulated and deceived. Or two, are so afraid of the world around them changing and evolving so rapidly they need something that makes them feel like they're more in control than others something they're in the know about. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.